Hi, fourth grade. It's Mrs. Boswell, and we're doing Module 1, Lesson 9. Our objective today is I can round multi-digit numbers to any place value. So we're going to be doing rounding again, just like Lesson 8. So you're going to open up to your table of contents, and you're going to label it Module 1, Lesson 9, Round to Any Place Value. Okay? Then you'll glue in your notes and then mark the page. So for me, it's going to be page nine in our notes, okay? So you can pause the video at any time that you need to kind of go back and review notes, rewind it, or watch it again, or pause it so you can finish writing. So I'm gonna open up to page nine in my notes, and here we go. And here is our mod or our notes. So let's talk about that objective today again. Our objective is I can round multi-digit numbers to any place value. Okay, so that's going to be our real focus today. So the first one says round 4,333 to the nearest thousand. So what are we rounding to today? Yep, you said it, that word thousands. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to remember we're going to box the number that we're rounding. So we're going to go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Okay, that four is in my thousands. Okay, but remember yesterday there were two different ways. You could do it with your vertical number line. Okay, or you can also use it with the number before. Okay, so I'm going to circle the number that comes before, which is in the hundreds place value. And that three is going to help me tell me whether I do the four, if I round the four up or I round the four down. Okay, so we're going to talk about what is it in between, okay? So this is, if you want to think of that vertical number line, right? We want to know what is our number in between, okay? Well, we're looking at the thousands place value, so our thousands place value that we know is 4,000, okay? And then we know that top one is, because if I'm in the thousand, I'm just going to add another thousand, so 4,000 plus another thousand is 5,000. Okay, so my number is between 4,000 and 5,000. So I'm going to mark that over here on my chart. I'm going to say 4,000 to 5,000. Okay, all right, and it says, what is halfway? Well, remember those dots, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And halfway is the 5, so I know that my halfway mark is 4,500 because I'll look in that hundreds place value to help me. So it's 4,500, okay? So I need to know, is 4,333 less than or more than halfway is our question. Well, let's put it on there. So I've got 4,000, 4,100, 4,200, 4,300. So here's about 4,333, right? So is it less than halfway or more than? If you said less than, you're right. So is 4,333 closer to 4,000 or 5,000? If you said 4,000, you, you are correct, okay? So if I look up here, 4,333, that three Remember, it's less than five, so my number stays the same. So it rounds to 4,000, okay? Just the same as what we got here. So remember, you could do it several ways. You can write it out like this. You could put it on a vertical number line, or you can kind of do it like Mrs. Boswell, but you do want to show your work and how you got there, okay? And if you notice something with our equal signs this time, is they are squiggly, okay? That squiggle, on the equal sign, it means it is round. It means it's an estimated amount, okay? So we're rounding when we use that, round or estimate, okay? That's when you'll see that equal sign is this. That's what that represents here, okay? So let's go to our next one. Our next one says round 18,753 to the nearest thousand. So again, I'm going to do thousands. So I'm going to go 
ones, tens, hundred, thousands. So my, I'm gonna box my eight, because that's in my thousands, okay? What number comes before the eight? In the hundreds, it's the seven, so I'm gonna circle that seven. So I already know that seven is five or bigger, so I can already tell that that eight is gonna go up one. So I think this is going to round to 19,000. But let's see if I'm right, okay? So what's it between? Okay, well, let's look at it. My number is 18,753 and I'm focusing on the thousands. So my thousands is 18,000. Okay, and remember if I'm going up a thousand, 18,000 plus one more thousand is 19,000. Okay, all right, and then we're gonna focus on that hundreds over here, right? And if I know what is halfway, halfway would be 18,500, good job. Okay, so now, is 18,753 less than or more than halfway? Well, I'm gonna look at that seven, I can already see that that seven is more than halfway. So, 18,753 rounds to 19,000. So was Mrs. Boswell correct up here? Yes, okay. Remember, could you put it on that vertical number line? Absolutely. You have to do what works best for you to round, okay? But for me, I get faster when I move away from this. But it's up to you, you gotta, you gotta get good at it before you can move on from it, okay? So let's go ahead and do our next one. Our next one says, Round 65,600 to the nearest 10,000. So this time we're in our 10,000. So I wanna box the number that's in our 10,000. So I've got ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000s, okay. The six here is in my 10,000. So I'm gonna use that five to help me determine whether I round up or round down, okay. But let's, we still have to fill this in, okay. So it's between so I'm in my 10,000, so there's 65, okay? So I know there's 60,000, because remember we're doing 10,000, so 60,000 is, is my lower number, okay? Because I'm going to that 10,000. And if I add 10,000 more, so 60,000 plus 10,000, that makes 70,000, okay? Halfway, Okay, so I've got that 60,000, right? But what would be halfway on the thousands? Halfway would be five. So my halfway mark number would be 65,000, okay? So is 65,600 65, less than 65,000? Or is it more than? It's more than, right? because that 600 makes it more than. So I know that 65,600 rounds up because it's more than. So it rounds up to 70,000. Okay, let's move over here to this side. Okay, I'm gonna keep working, rounding our numbers to different place values. Okay, our multi-digit number. So here I have another multi-digit number, it's 100,000. So it's 548,253. And we're gonna round it to 10 again. So I'm gonna box that 10,000. So I'm gonna go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, 10,000. So the four is in the 10,000, okay? I'm gonna look at the number that comes before the four, which is eight, and that's gonna help me determine whether I round up or down. Well, I know that that eight is more than five, so I think this is going to round to 50, Five, or 5,500, okay? That's what I think it's gonna round to, but let's see if I'm right, okay? Because that eight makes that four go up by one. So let's see. It's going to sit between, so 548,000, okay, I'm gonna round to the 10, so I'm gonna look at that five and that four. So that five and the four already tells me it's gonna be 540,000, okay? And I want 540,000 plus 10,000. So 
So 5,000 or 500, 50,000, okay, would be my 10,000 more. But what's halfway, okay? Remember, halfway is looking at that thousand spot. So I'm going to say it's 5,400, sorry, 545,000, okay? Because that's in that hundred spot, halfway would be five. So let's look at this number. 548, 548,253, is it less than 545,000 or is it more than? Well, look at it. This is 45, this number is 48, so is that more than? Yeah, so my number is going to round to 550,000. Does that match Mrs. Boswell's? Yep, okay. So remember, there's different ways, all right? Let's look at this one, okay? It says round 676,000 to the nearest 100,000. So now I'm gonna do 100,000s, okay? Rounding to the 100,000, so ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, so here's my six. That's the number I'm gonna round to, okay? And I'm gonna use that seven to help determine. Well, I know seven is bigger than five, so that's gonna make that number six go up to 700,000. Let's see if I'm right. So let's see what's between. So I'm rounding to the 100,000, so my six is my number, so I know this is 600,000 is my smaller number. And then if I add 100,000, that would make it 700,000. Okay. What's halfway? I'm gonna go back to that 10,000 to look at it. Okay, that 10,000. So I know that my smaller number is six, halfway is five, and then I need that zero comma zero zero zero. So halfway is 650,000, okay? So between, halfway between 600,000 and 700,000 is 650,000. So is 676 less than 650,000 or is it more than? It's more than, so my number rounds up to 700,000. Was I right? Yep, okay. So it says, this next part says, and you'll have this example today. It says, round each of these numbers to the nearest hundred thousands, ten thousands, thousands, hundreds, and tens. So this is kind of going to order. So this first one wants me to round it to the hundred thousands. So my hundred thousands is the one, and I'm going to use that four to help me round. Well, Four is smaller than five, so I know that this is going to round down to 100,000, okay? This time it wants me to round to 10,000, so there's my four, right? And I'm gonna use that seven to help me round. Well, seven is bigger than five, so this rounds to 100. Oops, it's bigger, so it's gonna make that number go up by one, so it's 150,000 because that seven makes a four go up one to the five. So one, one, 150,000. This one says focus on the thousand, so I'm looking at that seven, okay? I'm gonna circle that five, okay? Five or more makes my number go up, so that becomes 148,000, okay? The next one says hundreds. My five is in the hundreds. And I'm going to look at that 9 to help me. So my 9 is bigger, so it's going to make that 5 go up. So I'm going to write my first few numbers. 1, 4, 7, comma, because I'm rounding to the hundreds. So that 5 becomes a 6 and 0, 0 behind it. So 100, 147,600. Now this one says tens. So that 9 is in my tens but I'm gonna use that one to help me round up or down. Well, one is below five, so that's gonna stay the same. So it's gonna be one, four, seven, six, oh, I'm sorry, five, nine, zero, okay? Because remember, it has to be, the, the ones has to be zero because I was rounding to the what place value? The tens, okay? I wish you all the luck today as you are rounding your multi-digit numbers to any place value. Good luck.